You are still watching Ways. World Intellectual Property Day is observed annually on April 26. The event was established by the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, in 2000 to raise awareness of how patents, copyright, trademarks, and designs impact on daily life and to celebrate creativity and the contribution made by creators and innovators to the development of economies and societies across the globe. Me, I want to secure, I want to trademark something about myself so that if anybody uses it, I will sue the person <laughs> and we make money from it. But I mean, I'm really excited about, about this. this right? yeah, yeah, because I know that back in the day, creatives were not really given credit mm -hmm. for their work. Yeah. A lot of times, some people would either copy, mm -hmm. do like a copycat, or even steal their work without, you know, giving them credit. But yeah. Yeah. this is great. So people like me, creators, <laughs> I'm going to trademark our name. I just know, to ensure right? that what, what belongs. I mean, this guy, what's his name? Sabinus. That was what I was going to say. <laughs> Sabinus is one of the. I think, I think that one happened like last year or two yeah. years ago. And it was last year. It was about, about this time last year. Yes. And, and I mean, you'll be so shocked that the tiniest of things. I remember um, Whiskey, there was an issue between Whiskey and The Weeknd regarding Starboy. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Regarding Starboy. Yeah. The Weeknd released an album mm -hmm. called, called Starboy. Starboy yeah. And we know Whiskey as the Starboy. Star Boy. So there was that debate going on. <laughs> so, yes, it's really important that you know we recognize intellectual property. Go fight for what belongs to you. Mm. I mean, it's your, it's your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jenny, what did you find for us in the news today? Both passenger dies in Lagos. So the police um, in Lagos State has begun an investigation into the circumstances that led to the death of a passenger in a boat car in Lagos. Um, so according to the police, they said that um, the driver claimed that he received an order from the customer to take him from Osapa, London, Lekki to Ikate area, also in Lekki. But then while in transit, the, the man in the car, who is the passenger, passenger. screamed and shouted, my heart, my heart, and he collapsed so they were able to rush him to jack on the first gate hospital um at the hospital there so when they took him there then um, he was pronounced dead but they've transferred him to um they've transferred him to the infectious diseases hospital mortuary and marina for preservation and autopsy at mm. least to find out what went wrong yeah this is really sad. oh my god this is really sad see sad. there's there's something that's really um it's hard to to just you know accept mm -hmm. but death is a part of life however <laughs> imagine this guy stepped out of his house with intentions of coming back home we take a lot of things for granted mm -hmm. to be honest we're not promised tomorrow however you know when this type of things happen we're always like oh my god i don't know what to say because it's really it's really like a shock because yeah. I can imagine what his family is really going Thank through. Right and I think it's because of this type of incidents that, you know, a lot of medical practitioners are always urging everyone to go get Check, tested, go yeah. get checked, have your comprehensive mm -hmm. medical checkup mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah. It's, it's quite scary. It's very Mostly the one that doesn't even show signs. My goodness. You know? Because you can't even, you don't know what is wrong with you. you and he was young. He's a young lad. Yes. Young guy. <sighs> <sighs> I also okay. think it's traumatic for the driver yeah. mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, I'm driving somewhere and the person All behind just dies so mm. when you're t carrying another passenger you're like don't die it's crazy god help us Sandra, what did you find <sighs> god okay i had to breathe because i'm sorry th this news really i mean it's, yeah. it's crazy okay so for the new story for today street sweepers in cross river state protest over four months on paid salary this is very to me it's annoying because when you really check the the amount of money that is being paid to these women it's between ten thousand naira monthly to fifteen thousand naira monthly it's been said that um the um, sweepers in river state have not been paid for four months and that these people actually go, they leave their house as early as 3 a.m., go to the, the, the drop-off point at like 4.30 a.m. to work mm -hmm. and to get 15,000 naira that most likely would not even be paid to them. Mm -hmm. um, there's one of the women, um, an elderly woman in her 50s, actually gave an account of some of their colleagues who have even died oh in the goodness. process of you know cleaning the streets, mm -hmm. going on the highway to clean mm -hmm. the streets. And at the end of the day, these people do not even get paid. These are women that I don't think these people, if you really check labor law, 
they shouldn't be working. working. They shouldn't even be doing this kind of work in the first, in the first place. place. And to know that a state is actually owing, because I know that they owe um, teachers, mm, they owe civil servants. So, so this, this one is just, I mean, I can even imagine these women not even having any other thing to, any other source of income except back. this. So if, it's, if there's something that the, the River State government can actually do regarding this, I, I really implore them to do it because there's so much that people are expecting from the government Cut. and to know that they are working so hard and not getting paid, paid. it's not it's not something that's that's mm. i mean it's just really upsetting to yeah, be honest how much how much is exactly money, how much is right? the money i get this happened in cross in cross rivers yes, cross, in cross rivers, rivers states, yes. not river states wow this is really sad in cross rivers sorry i don't if i have a problem with with government owing people this she, kind like, of money because at the end of the day you find out how much the money this is. money is there it's actually already been allocated to these people because i mean before you created a job i'm sure if we dig deeper we'll see something something billion allocation. Yeah. That, has been allocated, yeah. that has been allocated to these women <laughs> mm -hmm. and these women like i mean nigeria is really not easy even for entrepreneurs that go out on the streets to get their daily bread talk more of people that depend on the government mm -hmm. to get them i mean they have, they have children school fees how are they even coping with fifteen thousand there? That's the first. That's even the first question. <laughs> today is not a day for governance, so right. we're not going to go into. Right. We're talking malaria today. <laughs> okay, so my news is somewhat tied to malaria. Um, Nigeria records fifty-five million malaria cases yearly says federal government. So the federal government said an estimated 55 million cases of malaria and nearly 90,000 malaria deaths occur each year in Nigeria. And the Minister of Health disclosed this at a press and, you know, the, said they celebrated World Malaria Day yesterday and then in that, in that conference he stated this. And I looked at the numbers and I'm like, what is going on? Mm. In the first place, you know, I was saying to you, Jennifer, I said, do people really die from malaria? I, didn't, yeah. I had to ask them that. So I'm like, People actually die from malaria. And I think here in the in this part of the world, we say because you are AA. Mm. Now, mal malaria is AA this, sickness. Uh, mm. Malaria is AA sickness. <laughs> malaria is because we're in a tropical region, right? Exactly. It's expected. Yeah. But in the recent times, we've had more heat wave mm -hmm. than rain. Usually, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I don't expect that number to go. But I mean, we have a professional that is that's going to speak to, to us. Yeah, speak to I us have, I have it. many questions to ask. A lot, actually. To ask <laughs> tonight. All right, so we're going to continue the conversation when we come back from this break. See you.